after the Constitution was written and um, approved by the Constitutional Convention, it had to be ratified. And ratified means accepted or passed or put into practice. Um, so <clears throat> by September 1787, the work of the convention had been finished. And then the Constitution was sent to every state government to be discussed and voted on. And according to the Constitution and the convention, nine states out of the 13 had to ratify it in order for it to become effective or the supreme law of the land. And as soon as the Constitution went out, there was a big controversy and a conflict uh, based on two groups of people. They were the Federalists and the Anti-Federalists. Federalists. Um, so the two groups that we have here, the Anti-Federalists and Federalists, each had leaders and each had views on how the government should be run. Now, the anti-federalists, anti means against, they were against this federal system of government. Um, this group was led by Thomas Jefferson, the writer of the Declaration of Independence, and he did not want the new Constitution. He believed that the central government would be far too powerful and would take away the rights of the people. He believed that there should be a Bill of Rights. He believed that the um, government should be weaker. He would have approved of and supported a government similar to the Articles of Confederation, just a few minor tweaks. But he wanted a weak central government, and he wanted strong state governments. Now, on the flip side, the Federalists were led by James Madison, <clears throat> who wrote the Constitution. And, and he's known as the father of the Constitution. Um, Alexander Hamilton and John Jay. Now, they wanted the Constitution, and they responded to all these claims of the Anti-Federalists that the central government would be too powerful by saying that the government could not take away the rights of citizens because states had their own constitutions that contained bills of rights that protected citizens. And they also said that the new government could handle all the problems that came along um, with a country that the the articles couldn't, such as taxing their money, money problems, and problems with foreign governments. So there you go, your two definitions. The Anti-Federalists opposed the new plan of government, and the Federalists favored the new plan of government. And um, there were different essays written. Now we see the right here, the Federalist Papers. There are also the Anti-Federalist Papers, but the Federalist Papers were essays written by Federalists to explain the Constitution and promote its ratification. Because even though the Constitution is kind of a short document, there are different articles in it, sections, but it's, it's only like four pages long when you look at the real document. Um, it's very complicated. It has some hidden meanings in it. And um, it has parts of it that are not easy to understand by the common man or a woman. So the Federalist Papers were designed to explain why certain parts of it were written the way they were and to explain certain powers that it had. Um, by 1788, nine of the states ratified the Constitution or accepted it, and it went into effect. So the Federalists won this argument. The Anti-Federalists had to accept their loss and accept and follow the new Constitution.